Yellowstone National Park has a hidden danger. It's a super massive volcano, and it's due to erupt. It's actually hidden eight miles underneath this plains that we see. This plains is actually called a caldera. This caldera will explode and become part of the ash cloud above the volcano. And this ash will rain down all over the United States. These calderas are formed after the volcano has erupted and magma seeps through the surface of the crust. It's actually very rich farm ground, but this farm ground does present a problem the next time the volcano erupts. The lava flows can be huge when they do erupt, and when they come through it puts up miles of lava. These lava flows can be seen throughout Yellowstone National Park today. We just look around and you can see it. The past history of these volcanoes shows us that it, the volcano is moving. 16.1 uh, million years ago is when the first part of the volcano was registered to be erupting and it's been crawling towards Canada ever since and when it does explode for the next time which we're probably about due for right now it will definitely change the landscape of the United States when this volcano erupts it will spread ash all over the United States most likely most of the farm ground in the the central part of America will not be used after it's been exploded. And it won't be used because there will be feet of ash on it. And if we don't use this farm ground, we won't be able to produce foods and grains for us to consume. The cattle everywhere won't have grass to eat, so we won't have meat to consume. When it does explode, basically we won't have enough food and afterwards we'll go into famine the whole country may go into famine the best thing to do is to buy trees and buy some land that you can put these trees on and grow some fruit trees and some bushes for your own consumption if we're out here on the east coast or way out on the west coast we may be able to farm our own food and we may be able to go through the upcoming famine I would suggest planting larger trees the closer you are to the eruption zone. If you buy a blueberry bush and it's covered in three feet of ash, you won't be able to pick any berries. Whereas if you cover it in three feet of ash and you have an apple tree, it may be able to withstand it a little bit more. You can buy our trees at Highland Hill Farm. Get started with your disaster plan now. And part of that plan can include planting trees and shrubs and fruits and vegetables that can help your family survive when the great caldera at Yellowstone erupts. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.